Hey, it's Tyler again. And I'm gonna teach you a unique and unusual way to master the stop on a dime pull up J that so few players have in their game. If you want to develop a deadly jumper from mid range, you need to sit down, pull out your notes, because I'm about to teach you how. I'll talk to you again afterwards. Now we're gonna talk about our boom one two pull up jumper. Now this is the best way to deliver a pull up jumper to the rim. It's because it's the fastest. Booming the dribble on a quick one two step will allow you to get the ball to the rim faster. It also allows you to get on balance when you're trying to stop on a dime on the move. The one two plan allows you to get balance to allow you to make more shots. Then it also is a repeatable rhythm that if you really train that groove, really train that rhythm, whenever you get into that same footwork, that same rhythm on the floor, you're more likely to make the shot. We're not gonna spend our time initially training a pull-up jumper in transition or pull-up jumper off of multiple dribbles from the perimeter. We're just gonna train what we call the groove. And the groove is your last dribble and your last two steps. That should be the same no matter where you are on the floor, no matter how you got to that spot on the floor, whether it was off of one dribble, two dribbles, five dribbles, or 18 dribbles, your last dribble is your groove and it's the one that matters. So when you hit that groove, you're more likely to make the shot. Now, Kyle's just gonna do groove shots for maybe a one step back, Kyle, maybe about, yeah, five feet. Now, it's really important to understand, this is off the dribble, not off the catch. If you have somebody rebounding for you, just catch the ball and go into your dribble, but it's not off the catch. We'll go uh, alternating left and right, and you can just go ahead and start shooting. Now Kyle's gonna get a booming dribble and a one-two step. Good, and you go ahead and keep dribbling. Now go to the right, you'll get a booming dribble and a one-two step. Now, that is how most players dribble and shoot a pull-up jumper. That's not special. It's not very good even, because it's a boom dribble. The harder you boom the dribble, the quicker your feet are gonna be. The harder you boom the dribble, the quicker the ball's gonna get back up into your hand. And the harder you boom your dribble, the more space and separation you'll create between you and your defender. So what Kyle's gonna focus on now is boom that dribble harder, both ways. Here we go, boom that dribble. Good, I think you can dribble even harder than that. You should lose the ball one out of every three times if you're really pushing yourself. Boom it, boom it, good. You see how I kind of lost in his hands there? Good, boom that dribble, boom it. Yes, very nice, very nice. See how quick that's making his feet, boom it. Excellent, way to lose that basketball. Very well done, very well done. Here we go, boom that dribble. Nice, very good. He's just working on his groove. One more time, boom that dribble. Good. Now, you'll notice on that last one, he kind of lost the ball, that was great, but he drilled it so hard that the ball went off the ground all the way to the top of his shot without stopping. Your tendency is gonna be to stop the ball and raise it in your hands, that slow. You wanna boom it so it raises itself to the top of your shot, and that also is gonna allow you to get a little bit more elevation. It's gonna allow you to jump a little bit higher into your shot as well. So the first key is you gotta boom your dribble. Now you'll also notice that when Kyle was shooting here, when he dribbled with his right hand, his right foot hit last. Just boom one, two, and stop. Boom left, right. Back it up. When he dribbles with his left hand, he goes boom, right, left. You always want your outside foot to hit last. So if I'm attacking to my right, I want my right foot to hit last. So it stabilizes me and gets me on balance. If I'm attacking to my left, I want my left foot to hit last. So it stabilizes me and gets me on balance. Booming your dribble is key to the boom one, two. Now let's talk about the steps. Kyle, you can back up maybe another step here. And now I want you just to go into some more boom one, twos, just focusing on booming your dribble. Go ahead. Good, we'll go again to the other side, keep alternating. Good. Now, the second teaching point is your steps. You want your steps to be short and choppy. What we just saw with Kyle there were some longer and a little bit slower steps. Now, it's very important to understand this. You want your steps to be short and choppy because you want to create separation between you and a defender that's in front of you. If I'm a defender in front of Kyle and he makes a boom one two, he's trying to create separation to pull up in front of me. He's not trying to go by me. Now there is a time in the game of basketball when you have a defender flying by you where you might want to take long boom one two steps to cover ground. That's easier to do. It's easier to train short, quick steps and take big, long steps. So what we're gonna focus on is training the short, quick steps. You want your steps to be short and squeaky. You wanna to try to hear your feet squeaking on the floor. So Kyle, I want shorter and choppier steps. Here we go. Speed them up. Woo! That was pure, that was sweet. Again, the other side. Good, you can hear that squeaking sound at the end. Those are short, choppy steps. Good. The faster you make your steps, the faster you make your release. You're training speed on your shot. It's a great rhythm. You can hear the same rhythm every time. It's boom, one, two. Way to lose the ball. Excellent. It's 
boom, two. Good. One well, great way to kind of gauge your speed is to say it verbally out loud as you're dribbling. You want to say boom. You want to say one and two. And if it sounds like boom, one, two, you know you're slow. It should be boom, one, two. It should be quick, short, and choppy. Let's see about two more before we move on. Boom that dribble. Very good speed, very good speed. He's just training this groove shot. Excellent. Now, here's the third key for your boom one, two. Inside shoulder dip. If you're attacking a defender that's retreating in front of you, it's already gonna be difficult for them to elevate if they're moving backwards. But you want to communicate to them that you're trying to drive by them so they give you even more space. If I attack like this, it looks like I'm about to shoot. But if I attack like this, dipping my inside shoulder, it looks like I'm gonna continue to drive. So as we boom one, two, we wanna dip our inside shoulder so we drive that defender even further back. So what Kyle's gonna focus on now is inside shoulder dip. I'm gonna show it with the defender here. You can go either way. That's already getting me moving back. So as he goes into his boom one, two, he's created space. It works the same the other way. He dips that shoulder, I'm moving back. Very nice. Now again, we're just training this off of our last dribble, our groove dribble, but if you're dribbling up the floor and you're about to go into a boom one, two, your last dribble should trigger the shoulder dip. Let's take a look. Very nice, very nice. Dip that shoulder. Good, good. Try to make it a little bit more smooth. Try to dip the shoulder smoothly as you go into your dribble. Good. Pound that ball harder, pound that ball harder. Good, way to lose it, that's what you need right there. Yes, beautiful job. All right, let's back it up to the free throw line now. We're just gonna take a quick time out now that we've had the three teaching points and we're gonna play a quick game, he and I. You can find a partner, you can find a teammate and just challenge them to this game. It's gonna train your boom one, two jumper. I'm gonna go ahead and be on offense for this game. Kyle, just wanna step in front of me. The offense is gonna start on the free throw line. Defense, you're gonna start right in front of me with your back to me. Now, you're gonna reach out your hand and push them away until you can just barely touch them with your fingertips. That's the distance. Now, Kyle, you don't get to look at me. You can turn around and block my shot when you hear the ball hit the ground, all right? You can move and block my shot when you hear the ball hit the ground. I get one dribble to boom one, two, and try to get the shot off. He's gonna try to block my shot, all right? I'm just gonna tell him right now, I'm gonna to go to the right. Here we go. Now, I have no chance of getting that shot off. The reason is, I started at the free throw line and I took long steps into my defender. We can turn back around. We'll adjust them, adjust them, adjust them, good. If I am effective in taking short, choppy steps, I shouldn't cover any ground forward at all and I should keep this separation, still be able to get my shot off. There, I'm able to still get my shot off without collapsing my space. Also, as I go right and left here, it's very important that I shoot with speed because even if I don't close my space down, if I'm slow, he's still going to block my shot. Go ahead and block my shot. He's still going to be able to block my shot if I'm slow. So this is how you can train it with your partner. So I'll switch it up with Kyle. He can go right or left. You're going to get five, then I'm going to get five. Adjust me every time. You want to try to, okay, long arms help. Good. He did a great job there of being really quick and not collapsing his space. I don't know which way he's gonna go. Oh. This is a great way to train your speed and to train your feet. When you get five, then you just switch and let your partner get five. Great way to train your groove shot. Now the final little bonus teaching point I'm gonna give you is for after the shot. Especially as we start to move off multiple dribbles into our boom one, two, it's key that you get balanced. Getting balanced is, is a product of being able to freeze your finish. If Kyle were to shoot the shot off balance, go ahead and shoot a hard boom one two, Kyle. Now you'll notice what Kyle did immediately is he dropped his arms and took a step backwards. That's what most players do on their boom one two. A way to test your balance is to freeze your finish. So after you shoot your boom one two, you land and you freeze your finish. You're not falling backwards, you're able to freeze your follow through. So let's let Kyle just work on freezing his finish on a couple. Freeze it, freeze it. Beautiful, beautiful, back it up. You'll find you start to make a lot more shots when you freeze your finish. Good way to freeze your finish. Now what we need you to do is stay fast. You gotta pound the ball hard, you gotta dip that shoulder. Speed it up, get up a couple. Yes, that was pure. If you can freeze your finish, you're gonna make a lot more shots. 
Now, we're going to take it back to the second progression. Those are your groove shots, and those should be the majority of the shots you shoot because it's the most time effective way to train your boom one-two. Now we're going to train it off of two dribbles. So now let's get Kyle to back up beyond the three-point line. We can imagine that you've made a nice rip move. We can imagine you made a nice dribble move. Let's get one, one little mini step back. And now we're going to get two dribbles. Your first dribble is going to be covering ground. You're going to create space maybe to around the free throw line. Your second dribble stops you into a boom one-two. Go ahead. Good, I want you to cover more ground. Cover more ground and try to freeze that finish. Cover ground and stop. I don't care where you get to. Good, much better, much better. Back it up, hustle back, hustle back. Alternate right and left, alternate right and left. Cover ground. Good, I want you to actually go somewhere in that first dribble. Go hard, go fast. Go, 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 now stop. Good, you should hear a specific difference between your first and second dribble. First one is space, second one's a boom. Here we go, space, space, boom. Good, there it is, there it is, back it up again, hustle back. Wait, hold it. I want the difference, cover ground, space, boom. Good, and you hear that squeaking each time, that's really nice. So your second progression is gonna be off of a dribble move or off of a rip move from outside the three and it's a two dribble boom one two. Your third progression is gonna be boom one twos in transition. So I'll have Kyle back up to that corner there. This time you're going to get multiple dribbles and get all the way to the corner where the mid-court line, excellent. You're going to have multiple dribbles to penetrate the arc and you're going to stop on a dime. Your boom one two dribble stops you, it doesn't create space. Go ahead, cover ground. You'll notice on all these shots, you can head back, you'll notice on all these shots, he's doing the same thing on his last dribble. So it doesn't matter what you do before the dribble, you're always shooting the same shot. Let's see a right hand. Good, good, back it up, back it up, hustle back, and we'll go left hand, we'll go one more of each. Now let's hold right there. Now you'll notice how much more time it takes to shoot shots when you gotta run all the way back out. That's why we train the groove shot, so that you can be more time effective in your training, you can really get a lot of groove shots in, you don't have to spend the time going back. So let's see a couple more, because it is important to be able to get yourself on balance at the end of an attack. Here we go, cover ground, cover ground, boom, one, two. Good, good. Make sure you pound that last dribble hard. Would you head back again, get one more with your right. Good, I think you got, could get a little bit more shoulder dip there. So those are the three areas on the floor where you want to shoot boom one twos from. I just want to give you two more examples of ways you can trade a boom one two in a game-like situation. Uh, Three-point line wing, I want peak fake, I want J rip to your left, and I want two dribble attack boom one two. So this is right off a catch, attack, boom, one, two. Good, I want faster, faster. You can go one dribble, boom, one, two as well if you want to. Good, good, peak, shh. good. Let's go a little J-rip, whisk across to the right, boom, one, two. Good, very nice, very nice, good. Now let's go one step beyond the three. Let's make a dribble move into a boom, one, two. Dribble move. Good, really working on balance there. Back it up, do it again. Any dribble move into your boom, one, two. Excellent, let's finish with a make. Beautiful job. Now you'll notice that no matter how he gets into it, he accelerates his feet and the ball into his pull-up jumper. That's the beauty of the groove shot, that's the beauty of the boom one two. So make sure you train it and add it to your package. If you wanna take your game to the next level, I know you're excited to work on your boom one two. At PGC Sessions, you'll learn literally hundreds of concepts like these in intense on-court training sessions. you also receive instruction and feedback so that you can make these things habits in your game. Why let your competition gain a huge advantage over you by adding skills to their package while you play game after game with the same skills you've always had? Over 10,000 players have taken their game to the next level by attending a PGC session. Take your game to the next level by signing up for one of our year-round or summer sessions today. You want to make sure that what we teach will give you an edge over your competition? Click the link below right now and see what coaches say about the difference PGC makes. Then find one that fits with your schedule and register today.